Hi, today I will be showing you a healthier but still delicious way of creating the classical dish of apple crisp. My name is Kevin Cruz and I'm a current student here at the Louisiana Culinary Institute. The first step of creating this dish is making sure you have all your equipment ready. First you will need to turn your oven on at 350 degrees and secondly you will need a bowl in which you will be holding your apples. In this bowl you'll put water and a little drop of lemon juice, about half an ounce or half a lemon. What this is gonna do is ensure that as you're cutting and slicing your apples, they will not turn brown and oxidize. So let's go ahead and get started. Our first step is to go ahead and peel, core, and slice our four apples. Here I will show you a way of slicing these apples if you currently don't have an apple core. You're gonna peel your apples, like such. Let's get all the peel on top, is what I like to do first. Get all the peel at the bottom, and then go all the way around. Once you got your apple peel, you're gonna go ahead and slice your apple in half. Put the flat part of the apple down and slide that half in half. So you're gonna end up pretty much with quarters. Once you got that, you're gonna take each quarter and cut the okay. core off the apple. Once you get them like this, obviously you'll move on, put them in the water with the lemon juice, you'll move on to doing all the other apples, all the other three apples. For sake of time, I already prepared the other three apples, so I got these ready right here. Once you got all your apples like this, you're gonna go ahead and start slicing them. You wanna push and pull, that's the movement of your knife, you want to tuck your fingers in and hold the apple in place on the flat surface. You don't want to do it right on the edge because you're not going to be stable. So you pretty much push and pull your way through the slice. Fingers tucked in, make sure you don't cut yourself. So now that we got our apple slices, our first step is to go ahead and create the filling. The filling consists of apples, cinnamon, and lemon juice. You're going to take the apples, drain them, a little bit out of the water, place them in a different mixing bowl. Once you have your apples in the mixing bowl, if you have fresh lemon, you wanna grab it, squeeze it in there, put your hand underneath so none of the seeds fall into your apples. Now squeeze all of that in there, get your seeds out of there. You put it in there, you're gonna grab half a uh, teaspoon of cinnamon and just sprinkle it on top. Once you got that together, you're gonna to go ahead and use your hands and mix it. Mix it as evenly as possible. Make sure every apple is covered with the mixture of lemon juice and cinnamon. Now that we have our, our filling done nicely mixed, we're gonna begin our topper. First, you want to grab your softened butter. To soften butter, all you have to do is take it out of the fridge for about 20, 30 minutes, let it get room temperature so it gets nice and soft. Once you got your butter nice and softened, you're gonna set it to the side, and you're gonna have, you can do, use almonds, pecans, or walnuts. You're gonna go ahead and chop, finely chop your choice of nuts. Once you have your choice of nut nicely chopped, we're gonna use about uh, half of it. I got the other half already here ready to go. You're gonna go ahead and mix that with your butter. Once you mix your butter, you're gonna go ahead and grab a pinch of salt, sprinkle it in there, and another half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Once you got all your ingredients in there, you're gonna go ahead with your hands and just break it into the butter. This ensures even mixture. Make sure all your apples get all the goodness out of this. Once you have it nice and even, you're gonna notice there's gonna be no light color butter. It's all gonna pretty much be brown. The so cinnamon is gonna turn it all brown. It's gonna be nice and soft. If your butter it wasn't soft to begin with, it's okay because your, the, the warm of your finger is pretty much gonna melt the butter. So it's gonna work regardless. And that's pretty much the consistency you want. Now that we have our apple filling and our topping ready to go, we're gonna to concentrate on plating. The first step of plating 
is to ensure you put some melted butter on our individual dishes here. Now with this, you can choose to do individual dishes like I've done, or you can do it in a casserole style or in a bacon dish and just separate it from there. I have already pre-buttered my individual dish, so that step is already done. First step of plating, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the apples and place them on the dish nice and neatly. Once you got the apples plated, you'll grab your topping and break it into little balls. You do not wanna put one big chunk, basically, on top, because it will not evenly distribute. So what you will do, just put a little bit here and there. This will make sure all your apples are nicely covered with the butter topping. Okay, as you can see here, I got my dishes covered and ready to go in the oven. The reason why I cover the, the apple crisp is so for the first 20 minutes, it's gonna steam on its own juices when it's covered. For the last 20 minutes, you're gonna uncover it and that's when it's gonna get that nice bacon browning color on the dish. We're gonna head, go ahead and place the dish on the oven. Okay, now that it's been 20 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and go cover our dish. All right, now that it's been 15 to 20 minutes, we wanna go ahead and check on our dessert. Just by looking at it, I can tell we are basically done. They look nice and brown on the outside and around. And here you have a healthier but still delicious version of the apple crisp.